Hey everybody and welcome to the lounge with my fellow loungers, chillers, ballers, grillers. Whoa, that was awesome. That didn't even plan that. Didn't even talk about that. I, I did We're all night, baby. It's like the barbershop Bruh. quartet. Chillers, ballers, grillers. Oh welcome to our preview of the podcast. Now, we're getting ready to go over everything. And also, before we get started, remember, podca podcast can be found on Podbean. I was ready to say Podbean.com. Spotify, iTunes, Google Play. Did I hit everything? I think you did. I think you did. Links are in the description, yeah. or you can go to them and search. Also, we are now on Patreon, so if you guys want to hit us up and hit one of them tiers to support our podcast and to help us to make a better product for you guys. Because we po. Yeah, we, we can't afford we to po. do this for free. See what we got? We got this. We only got one mic. Tears we got no headphones. Reason. Yeah. We got no headphones. Would be, I would feel cool. Yeah. Headphones. It would be really cool to have headphones, right? Yeah. Uncle Larry does unplug said. the fridge. I have to. Yes. Yeah. And the curtains. <laughs> and nobody even closed the curtains. Oh my nobody god. Nobody closed the curtains. Well, we haven't started the podcast, so we're good. Yeah. I know. Do but we need to close them? Yeah. The show's about to begin. Do we need to run over all the frogs outside? Well, let's, yeah, and then we have tree frogs outside. We close the doors though, and it's all the natural ambiance. Yeah. Mm. Could you open the door real logo. quick to, to, to let them hear the tree frogs? Okay. Listen to this. Wow. That's out of control. No, that's how it was, though. It's like a lullaby. It's like that. Yeah, I can hear it. Yeah. They yeah. can't, though. And then, if they, if do you can? Do the door. Do the magic. I guess wow. Now. now I just hear buzzing from the light. Guys, buy a door today. <laughs> Gray. Quality door. Gray. Stanley. <laughs> Is it Stanley door? Yeah, Lead paint. So. Lead yeah, what are we talking about in this one? Today we are talking about this is a I'm doing a story on a husband accused of beating wife to death after nonprofit group posts his bail in a domestic violence case. Five dollar for every time someone beat his wife. So yeah. this is a nice light tonight, obviously. It's gonna be fun. You're doing a story <laughs> on? Uh spider there's a spider See? in the car and uh causes a crash. So I'm doing a local story on a dentist that's also a pervert. It's local. We had one that was a doctor that was a pervert one. It's all of the same. There's yeah. common themes running oh, throughout. Oh, that was with the ankle with the, yeah. Yeah, yeah, ankle yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And I'm doing a story on toys going toe far. <laughs> was leader that. Wow. 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 All right, so we're going to get started <laughs> now, guys. Toe far. You won't know why I said toe far unless you listen to the podcast. Because you meant two. Right, but there's a reason why I said toe. Oh Probably the God. big toe, I'm guessing. Could be old. What are the pink? Ones? Okay, we're gonna start the podcast. Is there a ring toe? A lot of them, uh, because they're subjected to so much media coverage of this intense and barbaric incident, that they start to develop like fear, like a, not irrational, but kind of like paranoid fears about things that could happen in the future. Like anxiety. They, they, like, have anxiety. So they, and, they, right, they, yeah. they come up with these symptoms of post-traumatic stress without actually experiencing it, but just experiencing it by watching the TV. So if we're gonna air uh, live executions of the death penalty, we got people out here that can't really consume media coverage in a moderate amount, so. There's so many like susceptible people that are just impressionable, so whatever they watch on the media, they're controlled by it anyway. So it's just like, the more disturbing stuff you put on there, and then everyone's kind of inundated with bad stuff. I think it's yeah. different though for each one. So I think something like um, somebody being executed might have a, uh, a benefit to somebody saying, okay, well, I'm never going to do that. Right, like when I killed my father. Because oh, they're going, yeah, it was right. like, oh, I, oh, I, I, I'm going to die too? I'm not going to do it. It's not worth it. I'm just going right. to go move far right, away. Right, you're talking about somebody who's contemplating doing yeah, something. So yeah, so seeing something like somebody being put to death maybe may not be as, as as horrible, but seeing something like the bombing, mean, I get it. Like, you're watching, they're like, all these people were just there to go to a thing that they went to every year. Families go, it's like us going, like people in our area going to the mummer's parade every New Year's Day. Right. They do it every year. These people are going there every year, and all of a sudden, one year, boom, somebody decides to set a bomb off. Right. So, people were going to watch just being like, it could happen to me. I could go to the mall, and it could be that yeah. day. Just the other day, I saw a story of a dude uh, grabbed a five year old kid and dropped him yeah, off the third story of the mall yeah, in America. Yeah, 40 because feet. Because he wanted to kill somebody. 40 feet. He just ran up. So, I could be walking with my son down a hallway, and dude can come up and just grab him yeah. and throw him right over the ground. Oh, yeah. right mm -hmm. Because yeah. he wanted to do it. So, I, can, I get that. I, I can't read a story about a, a kid being sick or having you know cancer going through all that because I think about oh my god what if my son has that so I get the anxiety aspect of it because it gives me too much media too much 
you can you see everything nowadays, mm. and I think people have, have yet to adjust to this. Um, too much information gives me anxiety. And it I think really that's why we does. opted to not have this article as part of it because we're just drawing more attention to the idea that people shouldn't be living their lives governed by fear. And it, 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 there's no sense in it. It, it. I think that if you have ever had that fear, that anxiety from the situation, you it, there, it, it's a real fear. It really is. Like it's a real and, and it's a legitimate fear. Like those people who were in combat, they were going to high school at night. But should you fear going to any high school at any time? It, it, no, but what I'm saying is, it's a legitimate fear. People still have that. I mean, after the movie theater shooting. Everyone was afraid to go to any movie premiere ever. Yeah, all anyway, because like, really, that's uh, going to be a big ticket thing. I just saw a story of somebody, um, I don't remember what shooting it was, and I feel horrible even bringing it up, but she was a survivor of it. It was over the last year, so she came in a suicide because she couldn't deal with it anymore. I, I know what you're right. talking about. It's, it's, um, it's, it's, wasn't that the one in Florida? The shooting in Florida? It might have been. It might I think have been. it was. It's, I forget what the school, what the name of the yeah. school. Yeah. An interesting thought was like in regards to showing the actual death penalty, like... Every all news coverage is going to talk about the tragedy itself, the actual event. Like it's going to talk about like the act, like so and so shot up fifty people, whatever. And I can see where they're str striding to get that recognition for something like that. But however, you start to show them literally in court for like ten hours, like live stream, looking miserable and like getting the actual bad side of it, or you watch them literally die and like people are like heckling them, like like while they're getting killed. I think then it might actually be a detractor because if people are doing it for the notoriety of doing the act, you also yeah. got to suffer the notoriety of getting killed. Right, and then it's yeah. not going to be as prideful there. And that's pretty permanent. Yeah. 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 Hershey Where Park, 8th grade, we, the whole class was on this one of the massive roller coasters at Hershey. It literally stopped at the very top. I was oh, freaking out. And get this, it was, we were stand, sitting up there for 30 minutes. We had to get out and walk oh, down. No, it that was terrifying. Biggest fear did, you, ever. did you ever see that bridge that's of glass, like that glass floor, and it cracks when you, I when saw you step on yeah. oh, it? It looks like the nice TV stuff. screens and <laughs> people <laughs> pranking people. It's like the one they do it in the aquarium with like a shark. Oh, they come yeah, yeah. Glass and lay, oh, and these, all over. these people are walking that's on the bridge, funny. and all of a sudden it goes, <laughs> like <laughs> they're all like they're grabbing on the side and stuff. I really what if they like jump that. over, that's gotta be a liability. So oh, in, those, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. in those situations, you're generally safe. Oh, yeah. It's just a it controlled waivers. environment. But right. like, Typical. this is a woman in her car. She's driving through New York City, and what apparently happened was there's a spider nearby. She wow. lost. She she was like, "Oh God!" Like she freaked right. out, lost control of the car, got into a minor accident. Her leg got messed up, and um, one of the uh, folks at the police department was just like, "Look, we know that it's easier for some drivers than others, but please try to teach new drivers and yourselves to overcome the fear and pull over to a safe place. Like where people don't want to stop." Hold driving. it, in New York City. This is where's, there, where's there a safe place in New York City to park? Uh, you can't like, pull over. There's traffic everywhere. There's cars. Like there's no parking. It's Have, has anybody here ever had a spider in their vehicle? Well, you could just hit a brakes yeah. all the time. Yeah. Can anyone car. bite you? No. Not in the car, no. I had one bite me on the neck one time. It's like a beast thing. It hurt. And you just you took it? Oh, yeah, took I just it had to take it. Take it. Yeah. Oh. Any special powers of any sort? Not at all. Oh, <laughs> beast. It wasn't working. <laughs> right. Did you ever try, though, afterwards? Just yeah, like, I got knocked off. I would have tried to climb wall or something. I got uh, some red ants in my shirt. Ooh. I was in my buddy's house. In your car? They, go no, in they were in my car, I guess, and they climbed up into my shirt, and I'm driving, and I just felt things bite me. And I got out. I literally oh. pulled over right through my shirt. On the ground, like stop. So you on. pulled over. Oh yeah, so yeah this, pulled over. So I'm smart. living in the country. No, I didn't pull over. I think I just hit the brakes and then threw. The, then got out of the car. Like I think it was, like it was the middle of the road. Yeah. This so woman, she just road. kept driving. She was like, oh, no, like I mean, it's it's a woman driver. So like that's what we're dealing with. That's yeah. controversial. I, exactly. <laughs> Let's talk about. It sure it. is. But, <laughs> but have you had a, have you ever had a bee in your car? Bee, bee's yeah, hard because they're like you can't predict yeah, the flying patterns. I'm gonna tell you something. Your eye. Right. I was telling Joe one time about how my friend came down from New Hampshire one time, and he was driving. <laughs> and he had a friend from New Hampshire. Yeah, yeah the he, guy from the trailer. Remember the guy from the trailer? Oh, Larry, the guy in the RV. Right? Yeah, Larry. Yeah, yeah. His name's Larry. He, he, he came, lives in New Hampshire. Yeah. yeah. Who lives in New Hampshire? Exactly. Larry does. <laughs> New Hampshire so he, resident. He came here and he was Everybody's limping, and I was like, "What's wrong with you?" Hampshire. And he's like, "Oh man, let me tell you, his big toe was all swollen." Right? <laughs> what? So he told me he's driving in New York on the highway, <laughs> and he had his foot out the window. To like rest well, who drives with their foot out the window How's to begin even, with? I'm trying right? to picture how is he like contorting his left foot? He's like yeah, he's yeah, like he's a long he, way. He's his left a tall foot, dude. Yeah. That's so ridiculous. He's a funny and guy. And he said one of those big giant would bees uh, went right into his big toe. First of all, he should be on the highway. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, right. I've never seen a would be on the highway. But so he went into a store. So his toe was small up twice the size of. Dang. I was like, well, that's what you this deserve. Thing. If you. But the best part about this story is if you can picture this dude. If you have not he's seen, he's like seven foot, isn't he? Uh, he's like he's yeah, tall. He's like Go six, back and watch the, yeah. the uh, man in the RV. Video. Children yeah, Girl yeah, pizza yeah. video. He was in that one. He's he's a funny. He's just a funny guy. Like watching him walk around is funny. I think, yeah, <laughs> I think what's more concerning than the spider in the car because that's like crazy. Like yeah, like I generally I remember a few different times I keep it a, a very close eye on the spider. Like, right. What sure it's not in the vents? Are you gonna get rid of the car? But get, wait, if there's a spider in it. What if he goes in the vents? Oh, and then lays eggs. eggs, and they all blow out the... Yeah, right, but that's the problem, when they disappear, like, wherever you saw it, like, like all oh, of a sudden it disappears, it's like, oh, no, where'd that spider go? It. And that's when he got me on the neck that time, because oh. I didn't see him. See, at least, <laughs> at least it's better yeah. than the bee, because a bee could, like, doesn't need to crawl, it can just go right for eyes and that's poke true. them out. And I actually had a, a, a bee yeah. Yeah. fly yeah. through a window as I'm driving a U-Haul, and then go in my ear and sting me in the ear. Inside the canal? Not in the canal, but in the ear lobe. It was oh, trying yeah. to. That's with the wax. It's trying to be wax. It's trying mm -hmm. to like eat that. Birds like, bee wax, right? That's yeah. yeah what's, birds bee wax? No, but like what's really scary is sneezing. I find because like yeah. sneezing, you can't pull oh. over. For all of a sudden, you're like, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's and then it's like, and why is it always like if you have your hands on the wheel? It's more intense. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. you're trying to hold it back. There's so much sunlight. Like I know Tom. Like Tom sneezes in three. So like like that you can't. It's just one. That's three. It could be. Ten seconds. Right. Well, you just lose threes. control. Yeah, he's all, he's a. Too many shoes. Like <laughs> it's always three. Let's Sorry, pal. Let's get him to sneeze right now. That's messed up. Look at light. Throw some pepper yes, in his nose. Pepper, yeah. Yeah. Right in his I, I, mean, I think there's always concerns. Everybody driving. Yeah, be careful. I mean, what do you do about that? How do you uh, stop well, sneezing? I, I don't yeah. have that. I've never had that issue. You've never had a sneeze thing. You don't have. Have you ever done the finger up the nose thing? If I do, I mean, you just. Have you ever tried tickling the roof of your mouth with your tongue? Oh my god, this, that actually this is, it worked. I hope you guys cool. enjoyed this little preview. It's are, just a little taste. Are you good? I feel okay. With more yeah. intensity from Joe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, it really it grinds my gears, dude. How are your palpitations? Uh, they're better now. You're yeah. Yeah. You were, you yeah. were my, really. My, my, my watch said breathe. Your, no, <laughs> your, heart, your heart rate was probably really high. Yeah, because it's, yeah. it's, it's the dumbest thing I've ever yeah. heard oh, in my entire yeah. life. Guys, if you want to hear it, dumb. Go, on, go listen to the podcast. Yeah. So dumb! Yeah, oh. So dumb. Don't oh. forget, follow us on Podbean.com. We're on Spotify, iTunes, Google Play. Support us on Patreon. Links in the description. Yeah, mm -hmm. all that and good don't stuff. Don't be dumb. And it's also <laughs> it's also on, on Patreon. It's in every or not Patreon, but on Podbean. It's on every podcast. Our Patreon is on every podcast now. You can catch so up. Like, yeah. Now, is there a comment section on each one of these? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. And drop Com a comment. Yeah, yeah, that's the way you think. We read them. If you're yeah. like, well, podcast not for me. It's actually you get a lot of fun. You get kind of like some exclusive real talk with all of yeah. us. We, we have a lot of some funny times, and you're like, oh, I haven't been tuning it. All the episodes are up yeah, there. Yeah. And to be honest, guys, we're all, I mean, now that I'm more comfortable doing this, I'll be, I feel like it's more like us hanging out talking than it is when we're ever doing, like, yeah. a chilling yeah. a girl or something. We're doing because something. Because they're already like, guests. Like, you know, yeah. here's the ingredients, here's <laughs> our steps. Like, this is just more, it becomes more natural. Yeah. Intimate. 20 minutes into Come it. Come hang yeah, out with us, guys. Yeah. It's, it's like you're at work. the lounge with us. Exactly. So, wow. until next time, guys. It's intimate. Grab yourself something cold to drink. Put your feet up, relax. And become We'll intimate. meet you at the lounge. Do you ever use you, this TV? You were the first one that was early. Yeah. Oh, I just noticed that. That's a nice couch. You said that couch. <laughs> nice.